Good morning and good Shabbos, everyone. In this week's Torah portion, after Joseph reveals himself to his brothers, he says, I am Joseph, is my father still alive? Please rush to my father and tell him that I am alive and that a God has made me the ruler over all of Egypt. And the brothers come to the land of Canaan, the land of Israel, and they tell Jacob, your son Joseph, who you've been mourning for and weeping for, for 22 years, is actually alive and the ruler of Egypt. And the Torah says, Vayafag libo. His heart sank. Ki lo hem in lahem. He didn't believe them. And the question is, why didn't he believe them? This was such good news. Why would he not believe it? Furthermore, it says that for 22 years, Jacob was inconsolable because human nature is that we're consoled over those that, God forbid, pass away. But when someone's actually alive, even if we mentally believe they're dead, but since our soul feels that they're not dead, we can never be consoled because there's no closure. And so for 22 years, he was still mourning his son. And now he hears that he's alive. Why would he not rejoice? Why would his heart sink and feel like this is not true? And it was only when he saw the wagons, our rabbis say, that Joseph sent. And our rabbis explained that the wagons is not just the wagons, but the lessons of Torah that he taught him related to wagons, that he was convinced that Joseph was alive. And one of the interpretations is that when Joseph sent a message to his father, he said, God has made me ruler over all of Egypt. Samani Elohim, God has placed me as a ruler over all of Egypt. But another way to read those words is Samani Elohim, I have placed God as a ruler in Egypt. In other words, what Jacob was concerned about is not just whether Joseph was alive or not physically, but whether he was still alive spiritually, whether he was still living a life reflecting those values and teachings that he grew up with in the house of Jacob and Isaac and the ancestors of Abraham and Sarah. And therefore, O oh, Joseph Chai, Joseph is still alive. He couldn't believe that. How could someone be in Egypt for 22 years in such a depraved country, immoral country, torn away from his family, from his Jewish roots, and still remain committed and loyal to the teachings of his family of Judaism? And therefore, he couldn't believe that he was alive in a spiritual sense, because being alive is not just to be physically alive, but to be spiritually alive. That's what he couldn't believe. Because in Hebrew, the word Chaim has God's name in the middle, two Yuds. To be alive means not just to have a heartbeat or a pulse, but to be spiritually pulsating goodness and righteousness and love. And therefore, when he heard that not only was not Joseph influenced by his surroundings, but he brought and introduced godliness into Egypt, that's when he rejoiced, when he was convinced by the Dvar Torah, by the teachings that Joseph communicated to him through his children to remind him that he still carries the teachings of the Agalot about the wagons that he had learned with Jacob. That's when his heart was elated and finally rejoiced. You know, yesterday a new government was installed in Israel and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is once again the Prime Minister of Israel. Many years ago when Benjamin Netanyahu was sent to be an ambassador in the UN, he came to the Lubavitcher Rebbe and the Lubavitcher Rebbe gave him a blessing for success as an ambassador in the UN. But the Rebbe said to him, you're going into a house of lies. As we know, UN is always condemning Israel more than any other country in the world. But the Rebbe said, your job is to light a candle of truth in the darkest hall in the world, the UN. The Rebbe said, when you go into a dark room, a dark hall, and you light one little candle, everyone in that hall can see that one light and everyone is drawn towards that light. The Rebbe said the same thing is when you speak truth in the house of lies, you will be that light, you will be that candle. That's the lesson of Joseph, to always remain alive, not just physically, but spiritually, to be the light, to be that candle. And even though you think I'm just one little candle, but in a house of lies, in a house of darkness, in a world filled with confusion and darkness, your light will radiate far and wide will be seen by everyone, and everyone is always drawn to the light. Have a wonderful Shabbos.